The following Toku podcast to contain spoilers from both past and present Tokusatsu, anime, manga, movies and other related media. If you do not wish to be spoiled we suggest turning off the podcast now. Otherwise please enjoy the show. Hello everybody and welcome to the Tokusatsu podcast. This is the best show about Tokusatsu you've probably never heard of and we're back. Yeah. After barely surviving Saber... We have decided to go into the armor zone, which I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, it's so a zone. We have decided with to go. Uh, I guess this is the fifth. No, this is the six years anniversary of. Oh my god, that's right. This, this show started when Amazon started. I freaking really forgot about that. What a coincidence! Um, well, technically, we started a year before, and Amazon's came out in 2016. Shut the fuck up, Phil. Eh, it's close enough. Anyway. Yeah, something like that. So, excuse me, I'm I'm sounding like Evolver here. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, so we decided to just say fuck it, and by we we meant the wheel. Uh, the wheel decided to say fuck it and give us Amazons. People have been asking us to redo that for a while now because when we first did it, uh, it was only Jess and I who did season one and Jess was using his laptop mic and I was using my phone mic and uh, you can only imagine how well that sounded. Mm. So, and plus we weren't really as uh, seasoned as we are now in doing the podcast. So we decided, hey, let's just fucking do it. So this week or th- this episode we're doing season one and let's just get right into it, shall we? So uh, let's start off with Haruka, our character. Oh, actually, you know what? No, let's start off with this. Uh, Jay, what the fuck was this? Well... Why did they decide to do this out of nowhere? Well, I'm not entirely sure what the hell the the reasoning behind Amazon's was. Because it's, like, it's not like it coincided with the anniversary of the original series. It's not like there was, like, they... Wa- for, I'm not sure. See, the funniest... It was just shits and giggles. I they, they were just like, it was mainly... It just, man, they... It's. Ba- I think it's mainly because just like it was 45th anniversary, and then they just basically thought, "Hey, you know what? Remember that idea of bringing back a show writer? Hey, let's do that again." <coughs> I guess. Except. This Except time this we're time, let's the first attempt next, to make it watchable. Uh, let's make it for edgy teenagers, and we got you know we got a little money left around for a better that we were going to use for a better writer on Ghost. Let's just throw it in here. I just. Uh, so by the way, so. Uh, this is going to be the first time, well, no, not the first time technically, but this is going to be the, well, no, yes, this is going to be the first time we're reviewing a Common Rider show where you fucking hacks can't tell us it's a kid's show. Exactly. So, eat my ass. We get to rip the show as much as we want, <laughs> and you little baby fifis can't fucking do a thing about it. Anyway. Honestly, the... You know what? Like, I believe, if I remember correctly, the thing about this show was that, um... Shirakura basically said, you know what? Kamen Rider isn't edgy enough nowadays, yep. so it's, let's make it edgy. I was about to say. Really, that's true. He, like did, summarizing he did, in fact, say that. actual interview he did. <laughs> he, he, so the, the quote was, Kamen Rider has lost its fangs over the years. We're going to bring its fangs back. And like, oh, Shirakura, shut the fuck up. I mean, so- <laughs> he, was, he was close. He, he made a point to a degree. Uh, and I just wish he... Waited until the entire season was done before he said anything. Um. Well, look. This look. You'll you'll find very quickly. This show is the equivalent of the Bart Simpson "You Tried" gift. Right? <laughs> so, I, honestly, the the weirdest thing about this show was just like everything about it when it was coming out. Because, yeah, I mean, you, we, I remember what it was like when news of Amazon's first broke. And the immediate reaction literally everybody had was, you guys aren't even trying with the fake leaks anymore. <laughs> because. Yeah. Er, no, I remember this because everybody was just like, oh, this is fake. They're obviously not going to do it. The next was a fucking flop. And then it turns out to be real. And you're like, oh. I mean, it's not even just necessarily <laughs> that. It's just the timing of it. Because around that time, there was a lot. And I mean, a lot of really obvious bad fake leaks coming out. There was like. Oh, there's going to be a Blade reunion. Oh, there's going to be, I think, like, a, a Bokenger reunion. I was like, oh, there's going to be 
Uh, this was around the same time the Agito 10 years after was the thing. Yeah, there's that one. Uh, I think also this was around the same time that Gavon versus Decker Ranger was first being announced. And well, that one also turned out to be true, bizarrely. Yeah, but. that one happened. <laughs> uh, Dude, it's weird because 2015, from what I remember, 2015 was a really fucking weird year for Tokusatsu because, like, anything was just happening. It was like, what the fuck is even going on anymore? I mean, yeah. I mean like, if I. Like, if I'm going to be honest, 2015 to 2016, I believe that was, like, the 40th anniversary of Sentai and the 45th yep. anniversary of Rider. And honestly, it felt a, it felt really downplayed. It kind of did. Like, they really weren't doing much with it back then. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so as we were saying, so, yes, Amazon's was made basically <coughs> to coincide with the anniversary. I don't know why they chose Amazon's, but I get whatever. I guess. I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I would have rather Super One, and we just have a story about a guy running from the Yakuza. <laughs> I guess it's for the joke of it, and that's kind of why everybody thought Amazon's was a joke. Is that oh, they're doing a revival of Amazon's, and it's going to be grim, dark, and edgy and violent, like the it's original. Gonna be on, it's going to be on Amazon Prime. Okay, uh, and it's, like and it's coming out. And it's coming out on April Fools. Okay, you guys aren't even trying anymore. What the fuck are you doing here? You're fucking with us now. And, <laughs> and then, then it became real. And then it was real. And then it was real. And I think it's the weird thing too, because like I remember a lot of people were like initially very skeptical of it because I mean, first we saw the suits, and it's like, oh, Omega looks like shit. Oh, this concept sounds weird as hell. Why are the Amazons like bioweapons? What the hell is this? It sounds retarded. And then we started getting actual trailers. It's like, oh, okay, this actually looks really fun. And and you know what? For a while, it was pretty well received. Everybody really loved it when it first came out. Um, yeah, season one, if I remember, from what I remember at the time, everybody loved it. It was until season two when people started shitting on it. Oh yeah, but there's a lot. But of shit you know on what? Now. Well. Well, let's let's get into it because we'll see how well this held up. So let's start with our, I guess, quote unquote, main character, Haruka. Uh, what the fuck was he? Again? He's what, the what son. Was he's the so-called son of the uh, of he's... the pre of the director of Nozoma Pharmaceuticals, and he's essentially a, an Amazon he's a that was like a special Amazon. Mm. He's a test tube baby. Pretty much. A literal test tube baby in this Pretty instance. much. Yes. Uh, um, c can I just say, I don't know if I'm going to be in the minority. I didn't like this kid. He... I, I, didn't, I didn't like him at all. Um, he, he came off... Okay, you know I, what? He came off as too much of a bitch. <laughs> like, he was too easily swayed by literally anything <laughs> and everything that happened around him to the point where it felt like, okay... Do you, I mean, I get it. I know what the idea was. Like, he didn't really know what he wanted either, but, like, that feels like a character that should not be your main mm. character, or at least not one of your main characters. I kind of get what you're saying. His, I wouldn't necessarily call him a bitch. His naivety definitely was his downfall. Um, I think he, I think he worked for the most part. His actor was pretty good with what he was given. It's just... There's a lot of questionable decisions made with Haruka, especially near the end of the season, that makes it difficult to judge. Because I think he's all it's, right. It's, I yeah. I like the idea. He's like, oh, he's the sh sheltered kid because he's he's like a fucked up bio ex bio weapon, and he was being tried to raise as a real kid. And he's like, he doesn't he doesn't understand like people or the real world or anything like that. And <laughs> he's very naive and easily swayed. And I like that idea. I mean, him being very easily swayed does not exactly come off very well as the protagonist because when he when he's talking about like oh this is what uh this is my ideals this is what i want as my goal but he's like at the drop of a hat he'll be like okay i believe you i'm gonna go with your idea every other episode it yep. it it comes off very weak as a character and from his standpoint it makes sense with what we're given with him it makes sense with his background and i think it's very effective it's just Narratively speaking, having your main protagonist constantly changing his mind about his own moral, uh, moral, more his own moral morals. standing, I suppose, his own moral standing, having it shift every other episode, basically because somebody cried at him or whatever, it it doesn't work very well. I think is the big issue. 
It doesn't. Yeah. And, and the biggest part about it is the fact that, like, he just feels wrong. Again, if he wasn't the main guy, because he is technically, by the show standards, the main protagonist, well, at least one of them, he just feels wrong. Like, there's so many points where, like, I just feel like, okay, this guy is either going to be the main villain or it's going to come out and be like, oh, he was just, he wasn't that naive. He just knew what he always wanted. He just needed to push. I don't know. It felt fucking weird, man. Mm. It also doesn't help that his motivations throughout the show don't make sense. Like, he's he wants to protect the Amazons, even though he's fully aware that they are monsters who will eat people. Now, here's the thing. No matter what they are, even if they even if they later on say, like, oh, we're just trying to live our lives, you still... I hate to say you still got to put him down because they're going to become monsters and they're going to eat somebody. That He's told that multiple times in the show. And guess what? He does not listen and the other people are right. That's, yes. See, that's the problem when you try to do the, the humanizing the monsters plot. Is that if you don't stick with it, if you don't try to show that the monsters can inve- inevitably become good, become... Not necessarily civilized, but be able to live in harmony. It doesn't really work having your character want to try and save them. Like, it's kind of like... I don't want to use Ghost as the easy crutch, because, I mean, Ghost is obviously the easy punching bag, as always. Okay, yeah. It's... Naturally. There's another show that did a similar thing where they they did a plot of somebody trying to humanize and befriend one of the monsters of the week... And they ended up being proven wrong in the end. And I... I mean, that, that's a I cliche like, as old as I mean, time. that's cliche as old as time, but I'm trying to think of a specific example that, that reminded me of something that Amazon's, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Like, I want to say, like, there were a few moments... I think the one that really speaks out to me is um, one is actually during Gaim. Uh, when, um, I mean, it's not doesn't fit one-to-one, but it's like uh, Kota trying to talk to... talk sense into Hase, mm. kind of. Like... During that horror yeah, scene, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, see, the thing about the thing about like, if you're gonna do that, the problem was, and and, the, and honestly, this show gave me a, a, a exact moment was the restaurant episode mm. because at that exact point, you basically have told me no matter what these people do, they're going to be monsters who eat human beings. Exactly, and that is not a good thing. That's pretty much like. Mm, sorry, continue. No, I was just gonna say like. And, like, no matter how you try and switch that, no matter how you try and play that up, like, you can tell me, oh, but they're just trying to eat to survive. It's like us who eat cows. It's still it's cannibalism. Like, that's not, like, that's still not right. Because, like, okay, again, if you want to get into that entire thing, and I don't think the show is smart enough to get into that type of conversation, but, like, if you want to get into that entire thing, you have to show a bit more of a bad side to the humans, because... Really, the only, there was only one bad. There was only one true bad human, and he was a fucking villain of the week. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was Bondo else, again, as always. Because of course, it's always fucking. It's Bondo. always Bondo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bondo. But, but like, you do that, and like, and then you have the episode where they're just eating people, anyways. It's like, and not only that, but not only are they eating people, but then they get, then they show that like they were eating people of their own volition. They weren't. They're uh fucking. Bangles weren't red yet, and then they turn red and they go insane anyway. It's like, well, then why were you? Why would you ever want to protect them? Yeah. See, they're insane monsters. See, I liked that idea to an extent. Of even the Amazons, the Amazons don't necessarily want to be. Not every Amazon necessarily wants to be a psycho murderer, even though they are literal test tube monsters who have absolutely. No history beyond being fucking horrible test tube monsters. They have, like, actual feelings and motives. They don't want to be horrible monsters. And as as much as it pains them that the only real way they have to stave it off is to, you know, hunt and kill people. And I like that idea of, like, they try to humanize the monsters and make it so that they're... There's some pathos to it. There's some... They're tragic in that way. But mm-hmm. it falls apart where, like you're saying, is one... The alternative is that they kill and eat humans, but it doesn't. The show does also go out and say that it doesn't matter because 
even at the end of the day, they're still going to eventually turn. Like even yeah. even like the the sappy little frou frou sissy boy Mamoru. Amazon Mamoru. Even he ended up turning bad in the end. Granted, that was because he had ended up eating human flesh. And I guess there's that thing where, okay, well, if I guess they never get the taste for human flesh and they're treated with, like, you know, synthetic shit or whatever, whatever the fuck, you know. I'm sure the McDonald's burgers Mamoru were eating were barely considered meat anyway, so that's how he was able to stay, you know, sane so long. I'm sure there's that aspect there where I'm sure all the Amazons were basically fucked from the beginning because, like, Oh well. Yeah, they basically said that. They, they said at the beginning, "Oh, those fucking arm, those fucking arm braces, they only last for about two years, and then afterwards, well, it's too bad." Exactly, yeah. but but that's the thing is that <clears throat> excuse me. Even then, there there's Amazons who still are like, "Well, we we can eat humans, and that'll help," but then it doesn't help after a while, and it just it's just staving off the inevitable as the things that. It's hard, yeah. it's hard to humanize a yeah. monster when there is there is no way to permanently resolve the situation other than killing the monster is that because inevitably they are going to turn bad and that's when if the, whole, anything, the whole experiment falls apart and yeah I was going to say if anything it kind of feels and again this is me looking at it from this angle it kind of fe- <laughs> it kind of feels like a vegan trying to <laughs> trying to protect lions <laughs> and it's like you're mixing lions with gazelles. I'm sorry, nature's going to take over eventually. Yeah. Mm. Like, that's kind of yes. what it feels like. It feels like Haruka's trying to be a vegan. He's like, you got to protect the lions, man. It's like, the lions are still fucking eating things, dude. They're, that's their nature. That's their fucking nature. And that's what Amazons are. Their nature is to eat people. They Again, like Jay said, they try to show, like, oh, if they never have a taste for human flesh. But the thing is... If the brace, if the arm bracelet goes off, anyways, it doesn't even matter if they've never tasted it before. They still go crazy. You can, yeah. you Again, can hold it's it off human as, nature. You can hold it off as much as you can, but in the end, the thirst will win. It will take and over. The, yeah. I like that idea, but it's not very well executed here because, again, they try to both make them. It's weird because they try to make them sympathetic, even though we know it's an inevitable thing, but. We know that there is literally no solution at all. That's I think that's a downside too. Is that yeah? It's not like to there feel is, bad for it. It's not even like there's a way. It's like oh, if we kill and eat people, we will definitely stay human. It's no okay. There's a chance that maybe it'll work. They're just they're just throwing ideas to the wind there and guessing. And I mean, I guess it worked for two years, I suppose. But really, I think the issue is that Haruka's whole motive is. I want to kill the, like, even though I am an Amazon, I am different, and I want to kill the Amazons to protect humanity. Oh, wait, the Amazons have humanity as well. I maybe want to protect them, too, and maybe we can live together. Oh, wait, no, that's impossible, because even no matter what I do, the Amazons are eventually going to turn and kill and eat people. Okay, uh, I'm going to still protect the Amazons, though, because I'm insane, and I've already put all my chips on protecting the Amazons, and I've kind of fucked everything up. So, yeah, because, like, what's the, what's the end goal of that? Like, well, okay, you're going to protect the well, Amazons, but, like, yeah. Honest, mm. Like, if I'm going to be honest, at, at this point, like, it became more of, like, a, I feel like it became more of a competition of just, like, you know what? Like, I kind of have my ideals, but at the same time, like, Let's see how far I can go with this and prove Jin wrong. That's that's really what that it point, is. Is that you know? Haruka kind of comes to the realization that he kind of gambled wrong, but he's too like if he admits that he's wrong, it kind of destroys his entire argument and kind of destroys the entire plot to a lesser extent. So he can't not change his mind because then the entire the entire thing was a waste of time. And he is kind of self-aware of that aspect, too, more so in Season 2, which I kind of like that they addressed that, but we're not getting into Season 2 yet. But I think it's it's still weird because, like, by all accounts, he should have realized his mistakes way earlier, but he's, like, he, like I said, he put all his chips on one table, and it's already too late to call him back, and he's just going to keep riding this train to see where it goes. He's because yeah because like what's the end goal and like in reality what is the like pretend season two doesn't exist what is the end goal of you protecting the Amazon he's trying to be uh, it, it, sorry go on no I was gonna say because Shindo one of the guys we'll get to later he basically says it better 
if you get in the way of killing the Amazons, you're literally responsible for every single person they eat afterwards, mm. which is true. He and it was a self fulfilling yes. prophecy. It's true. He he's now responsible for every person those Amazons eat. So it's like, good job. <laughs> you essentially committed genocide Gold by star letting pests go around. Retard. Yeah. What he's trying to do is he's trying to take the moral high ground. He's trying to be like every other. This is the writer trying to make him out to be every other writer hero where. He'll say, like, oh, there are some out there that are not bad, and I'm going to keep them safe. It, just like I would keep an innocent person. But they don't seem to understand that Amazons don't act like that. Because you can protect them as much as you want. You can you can keep them safe. But again, it keeps going back to the, to the same point of they're going to turn. And even when they turn, eventually, and I said it before... The thirst and the hunger will take over, and they will give in. They will murder unless they are put down. It's it's kind of that thing, and I hate to say it like this because it makes me sound like a cold-hearted bastard, but it kind of becomes a thing where Haruka just has to understand. Amazons aren't people. Mm. They, they never have been. They mimic the appearance of people. They can mimic personalities of people, but they're not people. You're an idiot. It's like a dick. Like, it's like a homicidal you're, you're, you're trying to... Hu- you're, well, you're trying to... Hu- I was going to say, you're trying to humanize... Like I said before, you're trying to humanize lions. That's not going to happen, dude. They're hungry. They're going to eat. This is going to be... This happens. is a weird comparison I'm just going to pull right out of, his ass, out of my Go ass because it. I'm seeing somebody else talk about another server. It'd be like if Master Chief just decided to be- try to befriend and protect the Flood for no good reason. Like, they're <laughs> they're literally soulless, mindless killing machines. There is no scenario in which protecting or helping them grow is ever going to enable or lead to anything good. But he's already put all... You know what? He's already gone halfway there. He might as well keep riding this train until it's over. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? That's the, the biggest problem, I think, with the ending is that Haruka is willfully ignoring all logic because his own morals dictated and to an ass to a degree i kind of i think that's interesting if it weren't for the fact that the show kind of paints haruka as being right to a degree not that it's not necessarily like we're outright told that he's right but i mean you have the the exterminating exterminator team siding with haruka in the end more or less and it's it's weird in that aspect, and it's you're su- you're supposed to think he is the right one, but here. he's not exactly. See, like I think, like for Amazon especially, like I could honestly pull, I guess, kind of like parallels from. Well, obviously, it's going to be Gaim. It's kind of weird, but like, um, like I think the more you think about it, just like which one's the morally high ground, I guess. In a sense of just like, oh yeah, no, Haruka is trying to be like the stereotypical shonen pro tag of saying like, oh no, I'm going to reject like all the options like in front of me. Either kill people or kill the Amazons. And it's just like, no, I'm going to kill the Amazons that want to kill mm. people. And it's just like, he's basically trying to play a role of judge and jury. Yeah. Which at the end of the day, like, if it were written better, would tech could kind of work. But considering in this case, it just... It honestly just kind of doesn't work. Well, it's because like it's because the thing is, it, it's because the thing is, and it goes back to the same problem we were mentioning. If they had shown that there are some Amazons that can stave, like they can stave off their hunger, they don't have to become monsters. Then yeah, of course that would be viable. But this entire show basically tells us, no, they're going to become monsters no matter what. They become mindless killing machines no matter what you do. So, mm. and it's like, well. Shit, I guess whatever, yeah. man. Fuck See, it. I think, again, I think that would put, at the very least, keeping Mar- Haruka in the moral high ground, I, that would, at the very least, would make it slightly better, where, again, if there, if we were told that there is a way that the Amazons can definitely, for real, stave off going insane, or there's a way where they can definitely stay human, unless, it, it, you know, they're not just guessing that this is going to keep them human. They're not just, you know, hoping and praying for the best. If we're told that, yes, okay, killing any humans is wrong, but it definitely, for true, keeps us normal and human for a specific period of time, guaranteed, it balances out a little bit there. And sure, there's still that trouble of, well, okay, you're protecting these people who are literal cannibals, but 
otherwise they are normal regular people who have hopes and dreams and feelings and everything despite being horrible test tube monsters and that makes that that balance there a little better but again where it's there is absolutely no guaranteed way the amazons will stay normal and human it makes haruka look insane for wanting to protect them <laughs> and it makes the person that they're trying to make look insane, <laughs> a.k.a. Jin, which we can get into. Papa Jin. It makes him try to look insane when you're in reality you look like him. You look at him and it's like, no, he's it right. Is. He's do He's trying to yeah. kill all of the Amazons because he knows he, he the motherfucker made them. He, he, he knows how they work. He's literally their god one. and creator. Exactly. He knows them better than they do. And when he says... There is absolutely nothing we can do other than mercilessly murder them. Why are you not listening to this man? I get he's literally an, an insane hobo who eats raw eggs, <laughs> but come on, the man is the man is a goddamn scientist. The man made a super duper monster belt and a army of test tube monsters, and Lord knows what else. The man knows what he's talking about. He put it in himself. He was literally, literally. in the middle of a. Fu- he was literally in the middle of making something that could reanimate the dead. <laughs> you you don't think this guy knows what he's fucking doing? So and, and that's the thing. He, it's the, he it's the is worst problem. the Eggman, and he has the master plan, and that master plan is murder all the Amazons, including. I'm sorry, I had to get in the one. I had to get in the one Eggman joke. I'm sorry. Well, I was, you know, I was just gonna say like. It's <laughs> oh, the worst I got thing. it! I got it! <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> you and your late reaction, Jesus Christ. Um, no, I was going to say, but that's the thing, is that he is, no matter how you look at it, the one in the right. But the show's trying to make it seem like, no, he's the villain. He's the bad guy. You're supposed to not like him. It's like, why? He's right. He is. He's the only one here with his fu- with a fucking brain. Kill he them. He literally says, I am going to kill every single Amazon. You don't seem to understand, kid. All right. You got a hot-headed temper. You're trying to do the right thing, but you're not. And by the way, when I say kill every Amazon, I mean every single one, eventually including me. Yes. And I like Which that like... I like that idea that where they don't make him a hypocrite. He's like, "Yes, I turned myself into a horrible monster to stop the horrible monsters." That does not ex- exclude myself when I say kill all the monsters. I am literally planning to kill myself the second I am done. I am not exempt from my own rules. That's and like, and I liked that. I really liked that as about Jin. Was like, the man is so insane that he turned himself into a monster and is fully committed and preparing to kill himself the second he is done. I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if the man had like a Rube Goldberg machine built with just like a gun next to his bed, where the second he kills the last Amazon that isn't him, he just hits the button. Boom. Series over, right? I mean, I would. I would if I was him. He probably has but, one already, as far as we and, know. But see, that's the thing. Like, we're, we're talking about this guy, and, like, he's the moral high ground. But, again, the show makes it seem like he's, like, the not right one, you know? And I, I know someone could say, like, well, technically the show tried to make it seem like they were both in the right. But it's like, really, were they? No. Because the show tried to make it seem like Jin was the crazy one. I mean, he was crazy. He was crazy, yes. But he was right. Especially, you know? especially that ending. Where they basically made him go full cuckoo for cocoa puffs and go against I didn't every like, I didn't like that and go against every single thing that he stood for. I still don't like that. Neither ending, do I. But we'll get to that. Well, but see, it's fun because like Jin as a character is fantastic. He's great. He's a fantastic character because he is exactly the type of character you would think you would get in a show like this. Mm. He's. Perfect. He's a perfect character for something. Honestly, I kind of wish that he was the main focus. Technically, he's the main focus of the second season, but we'll Even though get he's into... only in like five episodes. Well, technically, honestly, he, but we'll get to he's, that. He's, honestly, he's the most enjoyable character in the show because he has motivations. He knows what he's doing. And, okay, I got to get out of the way. I love I love his little relationship with, Nanaka, with Nanaho. I love that. It's like it's... Like they, they just they're made for each other. It's so cute. Mm. Like how they're he both kisses. psycho bitches. It's, it's, it's a kind solid of like how he wait what what did you say, Chad? It's a, it's like a solid he, relationship. Like, literally, he'll go. She'll ha- give him food, and like, like she'll give him food when he needs it. She's just chugging a beer, and it, like he kisses her goodbye as though it's like, 
oh, it's my, it's like I'm going, uh, bye honey, I'm going off to work, or, well, going off to war, I may not come home, uh, just know that I love you, and then he just <laughs> walks out, and I, I, I love, lo- I, I love that part where he, he rides off his bike to go fight, uh, like, go find an Amazon, he's like, oh shit, I forgot to kiss my wife, uh, I hope that's not a bad omen or anything. And then Sigma that's comes in. Moment. Yeah, and then, you know, it turned out to be one, but. <laughs> That's like a nice, that's a really cute moment with him too, where he's like, yeah, he he is uh, deep down a literally a normal person, technically speaking. I mean, normal to a degree. He's a he's a psychotic like he still has his humanity. Exactly, he still has his humanity. He didn't like yeah. lose himself to the like uh, the Amazon cells or anything like that. Which I think again, having him try to be like the opposing force doesn't really work because while on one hand, yes, he's completely bug fuck insane um it he's still human he still has his humanity he still has his morals what little be- he had to begin with but well, be- because the thing is like it's... he is not a he's not an amazon he was a person that made himself into an amazon because he said himself i'd rather be the one to clean up my own mess mm-hmm. yeah and i like that besides that like um like when he was also like when Haruko was about to kill basically Bondo, or like Bondo copy number, what, what is this, number three, number four? Uh, this was Bondo after from, Gaim, from so it would have been number four. I don't know. Which, so basically Bondo when he was from, about to kill uh, Bondo, time. like he also, <laughs> yeah, basically, like he also basically said, he like told Haruko, like, yeah, the one thing I will never do is kill a human, no matter how shitty they are. And he stands by that. Yeah. And I like that moral, again, he has a very solid set of morals. He's a weirdly heroic character despite being a literal gibbering madman and it works it works really well for the plot too and it it leads to a nice contrast with haruka where haruka's kind of naive and he's not really sure of what he wants and that leads to him being kind of wishy-washy jin might be completely psychotic but he knows what he wants he has a plan and he is preparing to set out and complete that plan regardless of what happens to him or anybody around him or anything like that. But he, you know, he never strays from his morals. He never changes his mind. He never tries to have his cake and eat it too. He he knows what he wants and he sets on that and he never wavers from it. And that's great. I like that. Until the ending. Mm-hmm. Until the ending. But Until the ending. Until the ending. But we'll get to the ending. Mm. Um, but yeah, Jin, he's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. He's, he's played by Goggle 5. <laughs> Go Wait, blue, keep... you shit. Wait, five. that's go. That's go go blue. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's Google Five. Uh, that's go blue oh, no, from no, no, Google Five. I love Jim. It's not. It's not Google Five. God damn it's Go Go Five. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. You're, you're just saying this. No, is true. I'm sorry. It's oh, Bing no Five. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's better. God, I, I remember, <laughs> Bing oh, Five. I remember watching Go Go Five. He he invented the really cool blaster that they have. You know what? You know what? No, no, no. This is this is none of those things. This is Falchion, Falchion, or like Falchion before he became Falchion. <laughs> this is what I mean, drove him to getting that role. Hair, yeah. Wait a minute, he's the same actor who fa- plays fa- uh, Bacht? How do you not recognize him? Oh my stupid? god, that went over my How do you How did you guys not How did you uh, not Do you drink him? lead paint or something? I did. Come on. Oh my god, I didn't notice it. <gasps> He looks no oh. different. No, oh my god! Again, I don't pay attention to the actors. Oh my god! I, oh my god! <laughs> I don't pay attention to the actors. No wonder he likes Saber for the first. Hey, shut up! What do you just? What do you just see everybody with like a blank face or something? Come on! <laughs> I don't go that in depth like you guys. Oh my god! I mean, look, there's going in depth like me, and then there's. Somehow not recognizing that it's the same person, despite looking absolutely no different. Yeah, no, he kind of <laughs> looks different. The hair looks different. Not really. Yeah, I mean, it's a little neater. That's about it. I mean, oh my god! Like, how do you go from Jin to Bakht? Like, how do you go from? Uh, it's pretty agency. pretty easily. I think it's pretty easy to go through that uh, mental. Uh, I know that mental stability of going from one crazy to another crazy. So, I know, right? Uh, I'll just leave that there. <laughs> but yeah, but like it, it, it's one of those things where he, his character and the guy who plays him, he, he, this was perfect casting. It was amazingly perfect casting. Mm. I love the guy. Everything about him is fantastic. He's good. Yes. Um, 
I guess now we gotta talk about the uh, extermination, the fucking the Ghostbusters, whatever the fuck they're called, Amazon Busters, the Nozoma we- Busters. <laughs> Which I mean, why yeah. why does the extermination team have the same name as the uh, the global big pharma megacorp that created them? That seems like like if you're trying to like like keep an eye, keep a level of like uh, what's the word? Um, anonymity, S- I, subtlety. I guess Secrecy? feels closer anonymity. I guess there's like a, like a degree of separation, like a plausible deniability. Why the fuck? Because would, Nozoma the, is Amazon backwards. Why the fuck would you name your your mercenary team just the name of your own company? That seems that seems like you're just asking for trouble. To be entirely honest, um, hey, I'm still questioning why they live in a building named after Toshiki Inoue. Uh, I think that's just a coincidence. <laughs> but um, no. well, it is a master plan <laughs> yeah. because remember he is the Egg Man. <laughs> yes. Um, the exterminators were weird. Fine. I liked them for the most part, but they're all, I don't want to say they're flat characters because they all have distinct personalities, but we don't fucking know anything about them or who the, like, I'm pretty sure they don't even say half their names, half the point. Like, I, I no. think we had to like look up their names cause I'm pretty sure they don't say I know they say the captain's name Shido, and that's only because he's he's back in season two. Mamoru, uh, yes, he is. Mamoru, but that's because they say his name like eight hundred times. Yeah. Uh, and then there's the uh, the there's girl, the sniper guy who's in Revice now. Yes. Uh, there's the girl with the double bladed <laughs> knife, which always bothered me. Um, <laughs> there's there's the goofy shotgun guy. And Mamoru. Who is, oh, who is in Trigger, I just realized. He, wa- he is in Trigger, yeah, yes. He, in he was trigger. also in Zenkaiger for uh, one of the web specials. Um, he was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He played yeah. uh, Judon. I like that. I, I, like, I wish he, I wish they uh, they, had, they had him stuck around. But, um, And then also, okay, there were the two in the first episode. One who was a literal who, and then you had Blue Buster, who died immediately. Er- <laughs> because of lol. Actually, no, no. The literally who died immediately. Blue Buster was an Amazon for no good reason. Yeah, Blue Buster was, uh, he yeah. kind of looked like a fucked up Xeranos. You did. You did, honestly. Like, honestly, that was the weird thing is, like, first of all, how did nobody realize that he was an Amazon the entire time? Like, <laughs> you'd think that's something you would be able to tell. Like, like guys, you have a fucking dressing room. You don't think you would have seen the fucking you, bracelet You would have seen the bracelet. Like, you didn't see the big fucking, like... There's no way he could have hidden that bracelet on that that outfit there. That that thing, shit's like skin tight. You would have seen that I know, sticking right? out. I mean, like they even like they even re- like make that joke later on where they they think Bondo is an Amazon because he's got shit covering his arms and it's all bulging out. And it's just like no, he's just like a weirdo fitness expert. But yeah, like, I like I kind of like that they acknowledge it. it's yep. like hiding the bracelet is literally impossible, even though that somehow people manage to accomplish it. Still, like. Uh- but see, like, I, for the most part, the extermination team were fine. I, again, they, it's not that they didn't have personalities. They just didn't go above their their need, basically. Yeah. Because they te- because technically they, didn't, they weren't really that... I mean, they were important, but they weren't the focus. No. So they didn't need to go above what they were. And for the most part, they were fine. I mean, I liked, I liked the shotgun guy. Uh, he got his arm ripped off, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that was... Uh, um, he, I like I yeah. liked them all, you know, they... Uh, there, you got the comic relief. You've got the muscle. You've got the sniper guy who with the big chin, with the huge chin. Robert's boy's got a big chin. Yeah. Um, you've got the grizzled vet captain, and then you have the uh, the wimpy Woman. pacifist monster, and they're all nice. You know, they're all. They it all... sounds like a. This sounds like a setup to a fucking Hanna Barbera cartoon. It would be, you know. Yeah. Jabberjaw, Mama, Mama Jaw. <laughs> Mamburu gets no respect at all, you know. No, well, oh my god! The, it, it, wait, 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 Jay. So we should have like an opening, but like it's it's Armor Zone, but played in like a 70s, 60s funk style, and they're all playing in a band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, I'd be down Mama for that. Mama is there with a tambourine. He would. Oh, that'd be amazing. He's, he's just always in his Amazon form, but he's like super, he's like three times the size and has like a goofy cartoon face. <laughs> <laughs> would you do it for a burger? Oh, yeah. Yeah. T- well, oh, my God. I could totally oh, I'd watch see that this show. now. Oh, my God. <laughs> it would be someone, someone make fan Oh, that'd please. be amazing. It really would be. Uh, um, to be to be fair, no, but yeah, like I, I liked. Well, sorry, I, I, I'm just saying, I like I like the extermination team. They're ragt- yeah. they're a ragtag group of of people who are literally the people doing a job that will literally kill them for money, and they're kind of like a familial unit. I, I actually like that. My my biggest issue with them, and it's gonna sound weird, my biggest issue with them was. At the end, when they got disbanded, and we get to see what they are outside of it, and I'm just like, well, if you're gonna do that, and I remember from season two they don't do it anymore. If you're gonna do that, why not show us more of that as the show goes along? Because it kind of just feels like you tacked this on. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was like, that like was the funny. fucking badass murderous chick who works out all the time is just an orphanage caretaker. I'm like, okay. I mean, like I liked that. I liked that aspect, and I liked that they. They all have actual motives for why they're doing it. Like, because initially when uh, Haruka asked them, it's like, yeah, we're just doing it for money. We're here to kill monsters for to get paid. There's nothing deeper than that. And then it's like, then it turns out, oh, technically there is something deeper to that because they're all doing it for some noble goal. Well, everybody except for Shido is. They never really explain what the fuck his end goal is. Like, I guess he's just trying, I mean... Like, no, um, wait, that's right, they did. Support. They did. He was uh, something, something surgery for his his kid or child support or something. Which, yeah, it's child support. I mean, you know what? Hey, I get it. Child support is murder, yeah. literally. <coughs> Fucking, um, <laughs> the, only one who was, the only one who wasn't technically morally good was a uh, shotgun yeah, guy. Yeah, it was, um, it was a trigger captain. Yeah, he was, he, he was just running yeah, from he, the basically. He, he was just a, I mean, he's the only one where they actually explain what his end goal was, because he's like, finally I can pay off my debt, and it's like, all right, I get it. You know that's cute. I like that. And then they, they like uh, the, sh- the sniper dude. Uh, he's taking care of his mom. And uh, again, the the grizzled tomboy muscle chick is like she takes care of orphans on the side. And I loved that. <laughs> I love that contrast. I don't know why, but that again, this just sounds fucking. It reminds hilarious. me like, like it reminds me of, like Tiger Mask, where it's like you have this this super duper badass who's who's doing all this horrible, violent stuff because they're taking care of, you know, unfortunate orphans. I like that. And then you get... Jeez, that chick's such an asshole. Yeah, well, that asshole volunteers at the soup <laughs> kitchen for children. Literally. Children with diseases. Literally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's like not even like ironic. Like, yeah, I, I, I like I, that's it. That's literally what she does. But the problem is that we get literally like 30 seconds for each character through the entire series to explain their motives. And... I'm fine. We're like, we don't, okay. We don't need like a whole full episode where we need to dedicate, you know, Oh, this is what this guy's motive was. And it's like, that's fine. But it all gets like shoved right at the end there. And it feels, it makes them feel very flat because we don't really know anything about the characters. We don't understand their dynamic too much. I mean, we get to see like a lot of the inside operations of them. We get to see like, they're they're kind of friends in like that kind of coworker way where they they joke and they you know they they bicker a little bit and, you know they they got betting pools and all stuff like that but like we don't really know who they are as people we don't really get to learn much about them like we don't they they're here to kill monsters for money and that's basically all we know about them and it yeah, yeah but see like the, and that but see that's the thing like had it just been left at that that'd been fine I think it's because they teased you with that at the very fucking end it's like. Well, now I kind of wish you gave me a little bit more of that. You know what? I think you had I forty agree. fucking minutes yeah. every goddamn episode. You couldn't have put any, any more in there. Mm. I think. Th- I mean, that's a big problem in general. <laughs> yeah, I think I would agree. If where, if it weren't for the fact that they they did just throw that tiny little snip of of information right at the end, it wouldn't be as bad if they were they were kind of flat as characters and. You know, that'd be fine. I'd be fine if they were just like, you know, we get a little little snippet here and there of who they are. But other than that, they, you know, they're just, oh, we're here to kill monsters for money. But yeah, then they, because up till then they were fine. Up till then they were fine. But when you try to flesh it out, you're like, okay, well, you could have done this. You could have that. It's, it's, eh. Eh. Mm. But otherwise they were fine. I liked them. They they had a nice dynamic. I They, I like that they were, they were taken seriously to the extent that... 
they weren't completely bad, you know, just like on they the bench. Jobbers. But they, you know, they weren't jobbers. You know, they weren't, you know, they didn't just stand around while Haruka and Mamoru dealt with everything. You know, well, okay, while Haruka dealt with everything, Mamoru was kind of a jobber, <laughs> but he was also a tremendous wimp, so it made sense with his character, at least. I, I don't even think he was a wimp. I think he might have actually been mentally deficient. I mean... He's a kid. He needs water wings He needs water wings to eat soup, Jay. He's 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 a test tube, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised. Granted, I, honestly, I'm surprised. Honestly, once we get to, once we get to season two, it's going to make Mamoru look like fucking holy shit. He's like 200 IQ. Oh, boy. I mean, um, that's that's the weird thing, too, is like, how the hell do any of these Amazons, like, have, like, any social skills at all? Like, how are they even able to survive outside, of, like, like a human environment? They're a bunch of fucking test tube monsters. doesn't make any sense. Like, were, was Jin teaching them the goddamn alphabet before they escaped? Like... <laughs> I'd love to see that scene. Jin's right? alphabet time. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is the letter A. A means <laughs> Amazons. Oh Dude. Oh, my God. We're making so many different shows here. Now I just want to see, like, <laughs> Jin, like a Blue's Clues type of situation. <laughs> <laughs> my handy dandy Omega driver. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I'd watch it. I'd fund it. Mamaru's Clues. <laughs> making so many shows here that I want to see now. Uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but yeah, like, well, I guess now we got to talk about Mamoru because he's kind of just, I mean, he's, he's, he's technically the most him. important. Like, okay, again, remind me, how old is he supposed to be again? Technically. Like, canonically, like. They never really specify when the Amazon experiment was done. We were told that they all escaped two years ago. So, at the very least, he's about two years old. We don't know how long they were in captivity. We don't know when Jin created them, when they fully matured, anything like that. So, because like bare I know minimum, there was a scene where he was in the hospital where yeah. they were trying to like get him to play with them with like actual like legit baby toys, mm. like har- like legit like rattlers yeah. and little fucking pacifiers and shit. It's like so, Mamoru ha- like mentally, he has to be at least two years old, <coughs> at least. Uh, no, he's got more cognizance, cognizance than a two-year-old. I'd say more of like a five to a ten-year-old. He's a, he's a toddler, dude. He's a toddler. Like no. that, like that's that's ha- that's his that's his emotional. Five, emotionally, ta- he's he's of he's that of a child. If he was emotionally that of a baby, every little mm. thing, every little Amazon that they would fight, and every little thing around him would scare the piss out of him, and he would cry. I mean. I mean, I mean kind of does. That kind of did happen. Yeah. Towards uh, the end. But, oh, we'll get into that, but that was later. But that there were reasons for why. That, that, believe me, anybody of any mental age would be fucked up I mean, after that. I mean, to be fair, I mean, something tells me that, like, because Mamoru only became, like, kind of above, like, mental midget status when he ate somebody's flesh. So it's like, I don't know, maybe that just activates their almonds or something I, I, I mean they they kind of imply that amazons start getting stronger the more they eat so i guess that they just had him on fucking mcdonald's diet for so long that he never like <laughs> they had he never bottomized he never he never ascended beyond like baby status and which i guess would explain why he's so fucking weak too one so. flew over the amazon's nest yeah <laughs> flowers oh, for no. mamaru yeah Oh no! <laughs> I mean, you know what? Yeah, he he eats something, and that makes the uh, the mentally handicapped guy super smart. You know, just it, it was human flesh this time, not drugs. So, so when is Shindo gonna come in with the fucking pillow and smother him? <laughs> <laughs> That's season two. <laughs> oh oh fuck! <laughs> We're gonna have fun today. Yes, probably. there are so many yes. great ideas you could make from this. Jesus, <laughs> to infinity and <laughs> I was thinking that too. You fucking jackass! Oh, no. <laughs> no, this is such a. F- this has got really fucked up. Really oh. <laughs> so, anyways, um, back to, to Mamoru. To ed- answer Chad's question, uh, we don't know how old he's supposed to be, but again, like. Haruka is said to only be about two years old. It's like, oh, do you remember when you were in the hospital as a kid? No, I don't. I don't remember anything after two years ago. That's because you were a test tube baby, and that's when you were born. But he is, you know, they, it, he's kind of different, obviously, so he's not a good example. But at the very least, he's like two years old. So I'm going to assume it's just 
they had him on like a nothing diet for so long that he's just he's just kind of like a, a like an infant mentally. And then, again, again, like kind of we see once he starts eating humans, he starts getting smarter and more powerful. And I think that's just the the correlation there. Yeah, because I was gonna say like for I, I had a feeling like if if once he ate human flesh, he became smarter. I was like. Maybe the burgers really did have some kind of like legit like tranquilizing agent or something. Like maybe again, like you said, maybe they weren't fully meat. Maybe they're like you know that Taco Bell shit where it's like one percent beef. The rest. I is mean, like even that not even like like meat, not even like <laughs> fake meat. I just mean like I mean uh, maybe maybe if they eat ha- animals, it does the same thing. We don't know. I mean that oh, idea is never you're tested. Right. I yeah, mean, for, maybe if they eat like regular like human steaks and stuff, maybe that does fuck with them. I don't know. I mean, I was just I was just making a joke because it's you know it's obviously meant to be like a crappy McDonald's hamburger, and you know it's McDonald's that you know who knows how much of that's real meat. Happy you said. Ah! <laughs> honestly, I'm I'd love to see the tie-in for this show. Honestly, those burgers they look like the ones that the, that my high school served for a to- for a time, like in the foil wrapping, no condiment, no toppings on it, just. A oh no, Dude Phil! They did have cheese. a condiment. There was ketchup. It had ketchup, and it looked gross. I mean, well, it's ah. ketchup. So, hey, don't knock ketchup. I love ketchup. <laughs> or you know what, Chad? You never know. Just like if there was anything in those burgers, like you were saying, just like for all we know, they could have just drugged them. Yeah, I mean, shit. Been. That's what they did to Haruka for the whole fucking time. That's true. That is true. Um, <sighs> I guess from I guess after Mamoru, because there really isn't really much to say about him. He's just kind of. Boo. He's fun. What about what, what about Sigma though? What about Sigma? Uh, what about Sigma, him? Uh, he, that was the dumbest fucking twist I have ever seen it's in my entire like a goddamn twist. life. It'd be like a twist. It was like, I mean, it's kind of a twist. It's like, oh, it's that guy whose name we oh never my learned, God, who died halfway through episode one. What they twist? Oh. I was gonna say go. Bl- <laughs> What? I was going to say bust Blue Buster, but that's not Blue Buster. No, he wasn't Blue Buster. I, I thought he was for a second. Was like, that's the guy who killed Blue Buster. Oh, my God. No, that was the guy Blue Buster killed. Uh. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God, you're right. <laughs> he's ju- Again, he's just yep. some guy. Like, who the... F- who the fuck is this guy? Why did he come back? Why did it need to be him Oh, my God, it's you. Who are he's you? Po- like, oh, my God. <laughs> what What the fuck I was... I can't believe they brought him back. What the fuck was Tachibana's end goal here? Fucking, Lol. I, I guess just money. Bob Marley, I don't know. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, he is Doctor Maki. Yes, Bob Marley. That's that's his goal. Bob, Bob Marley. I, I mean, sure works for me. Did, did you? I mean, look. I, okay, let's be honest. What was the end goal of the fuck of making the Amazons to begin with? I mean, based on the, based for on funds, what the president for says for lol. Uh, for. Fucking because evil, I guess. For the lulls. <laughs> they made him for the lulls. Oh, he money. did it because so, he could. Because so, so Tachibana was going to make super duper Amazons for the ultra lulls. Because he, at least he, like his end goal was that he wanted to sell them. He was like, he was like a scummy marketing dude and he wanted to make money off the Amazons. Like, okay, there's an end goal, but. Why the fuck do you want to create a zombie army of cannibals? How like that? The fuck are you working for, Umbrella like, see, Corp? They, Come they, on! They I, I thought the Sigmas did. See, I I thought what they were gonna do was he was gonna sell them as oh, they're the invincible warriors, the invincible army. But he never says that. He never said they're gonna sell them <laughs> off as an army to somebody like a. I mean, that would be. Like I feel like that would be like a just a more interesting plot, but then again, we also know that this is also being produced by Shirakura, so yeah. Day, it's still why like, like, why do he, they need why mentioned... do they need to be zombies? Like why do they need to be dead people? What the yeah? F- like what if he had mentioned they were going to be like a PMC or something, like okay, fine, that's fine, but he never does, and he never said anything, and it's like, uh, Doctor Maki, I mean, your plan here makes less sense than the one you had in O's for fuck's sake. I mean, like, if it was like <laughs> when he wanted the belt, it made sense because, oh, well, it's this super belt that can, you know, ref- make Amazons more powerful and keep them under control. You know, maybe if we, not. you know, if we get the Amazon cell, you know, whatever back, we can kind of like we can make an army of Amazons. It's kind of what he does. But like, again, like then he goes into like this whole weird direction with with zombies and like, oh, 
oh, they're they're mindless slaves, except for they're not. But then they still have their old personalities, even though they should be mindless slaves. Because, you know, that's what you want your, your invincible zombie cannibal army to have, is their own personalities and motives and thoughts and feelings. You know, clearly, clearly that has never gone badly ever before in the history of fiction. Dude, I'm not going to um, lie. I don't know what his plan was. I don't, like, fu- really, I don't know either. Really, the end goal was just, again, that's why I said, for the lulls. Because like, that's basically what it was. I mean, again, like, he was trying <laughs> to make money. All right. Fine. There are so many different steps you didn't need to take that you wasted your time taking here, Tachibana. What the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> he wasn't, obviously, because his fucking experiment died, like, job the fuck out two episodes after he was introduced. I think that Which was is funny the funniest because, like, fucking thing. The, like he gets he kicks Jin's ass, and then immediately in the very next episode, he's jobbing out to Haruka and the rest of the hunter team. It's there's not even really a release in there. Just he just jobs to them, and then Mamoru fucking Shao Kahn's him, rips his heart out. <laughs> right. Dude, legit. I I thought but this is way back in the day when I first watched it. I thought Mamoru was gonna take the belt for himself because it's like. I mean, there has to be sense. a point because yeah, like there has to be a point why you made this belt because spoilers everybody for a fucking seven six year show the belt never comes back there's never another sigma it's just gone no it's just fucking I mean well there gone. was another sigma that, but that was in the well, manga, the manga. So that doesn't count. nobody gives a shit about the manga exactly I didn't even know there was no a manga one, no until one read the manga so. I mean, it would yeah, exactly. it would made more sense to give it to Mamoru I was also expecting that as well but they never went anywhere with it. But exactly, because that's the thing, like, you introduce a belt, okay, makes people stronger, blah, 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 makes Sigma, blah, 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 you kill Sigma, the only, and Mamoru kills him, I mean, it only makes sense for him to take it himself, no, uh, no, I guess not, alright, fuck you, uh, go to the ending, we're gonna eat hamburgers now, whatever. You know what? See, here's the thing. Here's probably the reason why. They didn't want to design another suit for Mamoru. Well, I mean, that was the obvious answer, of course. They could have just used Sigma again, honestly. Eh, uh, I mean, it's true. not like they didn't already repaint that At the same time, suit. all their budget went to, like, basically putting the whole, like, season under an Instagram filter. Oh, my God, I hated that filter so much. Uh, it was eh, so gross. I kind of liked it. It was kind of weird. It, it set the tone. I think there were definitely scenes where they didn't really need to do it, but I, I don't think it was, like, disgusting or, you know... Take t- it doesn't really take you out of the show. I think they, I think they designed a lot of the scenes and the suits to fit with the the filter, so the color yeah. scheme is at the very least consistent. I mean, some to of be, the suits to be fair, were, have you seen the have you seen the uh, Omega suit? Uh, what was it in? It was one of the fucking superhero Tysons or something like out out of the fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. superhero like, Tyson. Holy shit! It is neon. It is borderline neon. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking wild, dude. Oh, no, I was just going to say Mamoru could have just been Amazon beta, so. Would've yeah, worked. I mean, like, that's the thing is that, like, it's not like they didn't already repaint Sigma's suit. It's literally a repaint. They could have just, you know, painted it again. I mean, <laughs> they repainted Haruka's original Amazon suit for Sigma. I know, right? Like, yeah. what was the what was the point of having that if you're never if you're just going to repaint it like three more times? Honestly, you know I mean, what? It'd, it'd be fine in if, a like, weird way. Even in like season two, if they brought it back, and you know, now he's using the belt. That's fine. You know, that'd be one thing. But it, honestly, it, it would. It's kind of weird because, like, yeah, why would you give him that green Amazon suit if he doesn't use it? Like, and not this futuristic looking Amazon suit for fucking Sigma? Because I mean, that would make more sense. Because that one looks futuristic and more powerful. Yeah, I guess not. I yeah. mean, no, I, I'm sorry. I guess we gotta give fucking Haruka the fucking Borg power up next season. <laughs> no, fuck, don't remind me of that. <laughs> I don't even want to. Fucking, know. dude. That in th- honestly, Sigma was such a fucking waste because it's like you introduce him. He's supposed to be super duper ultra mega uber powerful, and then he just fucking dies, and then we forget about him. And it's like, all right, bye, bye. That, that story like, arc served no purpose other than having oh. Mamoru go berserk and lose control of his humanity. Which, on one Could hand, have happened any other time. On one hand, I liked the setup where they did, where they did have eventually have Mamoru, you know, turn and become another Amazon and. You know that that's kind of what kind of splinters the uh, 
the exterminator crew. And I liked that idea, but we don't get any foreshadowing to it until literally the episode before it happens, right at the end of the prior episode. And then he just, he just rips shotgun dude's arm off and eats it and then runs off. And then like, here's the thing. It's, it's kind of a lose lose because if they, they had shown, cause we, we get a flashback to him when they're at the restaurant, the, uh, the Amazon restaurant. And he ends up accidentally eating human meat there. And that's kind of like, like, okay, I'm fine with them not showing that scene specifically, but it's kind of a lose-lose where either you do start having foreshadowing of it, where you start ha- see, having a uh, Mamoru start get a little more powerful and he starts act, you know, he starts acting out a little bit more, starts straying from, you know, starts showing signs of slipping that it makes it a little bit too obvious that he's going to turn because at this point you've already seen it happen to literally every Amazon up to this point. So you already know what's going to happen. But at the other hand, you can have absolutely no foreshadowing at all until it happens, which makes it seem like a gigantic ass pull, which is exactly what happened in this show where you don't get any foreshadowing that Mamoru is going to turn or that he's, you know, he's, his Amazon cells are activating until like literally right before it happens. And see, like, you can do something like that and pull it off well, like like a shock thing, like oh my god, what the fuck? Like you can do that. It's just, it just cannot. It just kind of comes off as weird, honestly. <laughs> mm. But I mean, that's Mamoru in general. He's fucking weird. Uh, that's every, that's I think that's all for the characters, right? That's that's pretty much everybody. There's uh, Haruka's, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot Haruka's girlfriend. His, mm. his girlfriend slash sister. sister. Um, oh, his, not his another sister? incest plot. Step sister. Oh, fuck's sake. No, I mean, it's again. okay. It's okay. They're oh, not actually. Worry, well, okay, technically the they are related. <laughs> yeah, technically, they are siblings. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're they're half siblings. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, half yeah, siblings really in, related in uh, the sense that uh, Haruka's half human, but uh. It's obesity. A little bit. I mean, okay. you know, look, I know next it's white season's girls, necrophilia, not a- dude. Asian uh, girls, either way. Look, Jay, again, next season, necrophilia and borderline pedophilia. So, I mean, we're, uh, we're already on man, the train what the here. Fuck was, what the fuck was Kobayashi smoking with that? Uh, we'll get to that next obvious, week, though. Obviously, some good shit. Uh, uh, anyways. <laughs> so... I guess now we have to actually you know what before that should we should we talk a little bit about the aesthetics and the music and stuff because we never talk about that uh, I really. love Alpha Suit oh yeah it's great they it's did they, great. Uh, they, it's they cool. literally just took OG Amazon and repainted it through some scars on there and you know what it works OG Amazon is a great suit repainting it red makes it better I don't know you know what you don't need to do anything more than that you just you just slap a new coat of paint on Amazon bam you're done they didn't it need to do anything really more it really damn good exactly like I'm, like if I remember correctly, I believe the red Amazon color actually came from like earlier notes of like Ishinomori, yeah, actually. It, or like um, it was um SI or like the SIC line that also like really outlined yeah. it or something. If I remember correctly, yeah, I remember something about that. Yeah, and it <clears throat> it looks really fucking good. Oh yeah, it looks really damn good. I I love it. I I'm not really much of a fan of Omegas though. It's kind of a uh, funky. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I think it's the helmet. I like that. I, I remember like hating. I remember hating Omega when I first watched the show, but rewatching it, I kind of like it a little bit more. I kind of like, I dig it. I dig the aesthetic. I wouldn't say I hate it though. No, I, I kind of like the like I'm... artificial aspect to it. I kind of like the, uh, the more robotic kind of, again, you, like you were saying there where it makes, it would have made more sense to have that be Sigma instead where it's that kind of like artificial, like fake Amazon look, but I think that works for Omega, and I really like the design. That being said, they should have given him some kind of mouth plate or something like that, because yeah. good lord, giving him the blank face plate yeah. was just so, so weird. Especially when, like, they make him, like, start to try to bite people. It's like, the hell, how are you doing that? Like, even if it was, like, if it was, like... He, he was just smashing flesh If it was, like, helmet. like, Zeto or Jay, where, like, it, like, kind of, like, opened up or closed, like, okay, that's fine. You know that's that's cheap. You can just like have like have the 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 blank one be like a little insert that you just stick in there, and you can just take it out when you need to film. Bam, you know. And see, like I get it. Like I get it. They didn't want to keep uh, the green Omega because they didn't want them to look similar. But I wouldn't give them a shit. They looked. They the green Omega still looked fun. Mm-hmm. Just put the belt on I there, mean, and you wouldn't have looked as looked naked. Different and there you go. enough from Alpha, where I don't think there would have been any confusion. I mean, 
uh, alpha it's ones I mean, that are very different fucking colors. I mean, even be, even beyond that, that would have been. They don't look anything the sim anything no. same. They, 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 they. <laughs> they look different enough where I think it would have worked. Exactly. That's why I was always thinking like. Why, why did you throw away that suit? I mean, I know they didn't throw it away, but why did you take away that suit so fucking fast? Like, it looks great, especially because one of my favorite parts about these fucking suits, the mouth opens. Like, oh, yeah. there was that point where Sigma was talking. Like, when yep. when uh, Sigma was talking and the mouth was actually, like, lip syncing, I was like, that's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. I mean, again, I, I, that's be- I mean, look, I love when helmets open like that anyways, which are supposed to be like beasts. It's fucking cool. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's, it's underrated, and it's underutilized, too, unfortunately. They kind of, I wish they did that yeah. with, like, Jin, too, because they never really do that with Jin, either. They did it in the first fight he was in, and then afterwards it was kind of like, maybe it was there? Yeah. I don't it know. Kind of, kind of, sort of there. If you squint, maybe it's open. I don't know. Maybe they opened it and they forgot to close it? I don't know. Uh, besides these suits, actually, I guess we have to talk a little bit about the Amazon suits in general. Uh, I, I, really, I didn't really mind most of them. They were pretty all right. I really dig them. I really dig the aesthetic. It's it's very SIC inspired in many ways. Um, some of them look a little little uh, chunky at points. I think that they they kind of cheaped out on some of them, like the uh, the bat ones. The wings look really cheap. They look like they're just like like. A, I don't want to like say they look like garbage bags, but they're kind of like they're too shiny to match with the rest of the suit, and they just look they look cheap. They look they very look like, kind of flimsy. like crappy plastic nylon. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was gonna say yeah. it's kind of weird though. Maybe this is just me because I'm the Kuga guy, but some of them kind of look like reworked Rongi suits. I think there's that they they definitely share similar aesthetics. Mostly because it's that muted color design, and yeah. they had that kind of tribal esque look, and yeah. also because, I mean, don't kill me for this, AJ. The Grongi looked cheap as fuck. Um, they did, I'm they did, but that's you know what? Those. That's what made the the Grongi entertaining, at least, is because they looked cheap as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm not gonna defend the fucking Grongi suit. No, bro. they, they looked. I'm not. They, I, you can yeah. never, 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 ever do that. But like. <clears throat> I mean, unless you're talking about fucking Dagova, in which case I'll fucking. Well, shoot I mean, you. okay, you ca- you can't say Dagova looks cheap as fuck because he's literally just like a rider suit they had lying around, basically. Exactly. Like if you would talk shit about that, I think no, we'd actually have some I'm problems. I'm not. I'm not insane. Basically, Dagova is the result of like actually putting all the budget know, into right? a suit. <laughs> um, no, but like most of the suits are pretty fine. I think, um, like once we get to next season, they start really trying to amp up some of how how they look, especially specifically because we have another. I mean, she's dead, but whatever. We'll get to that. Yeah. But you know, we, we, they amplified the the budget for the suit for some of them, but it's fine. Honestly, the worst part about the aesthetic or like the production value, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know if anybody's going to disagree with me. I hated the fucking music. I hated this music so that much. Was all right. Like that same fucking track that used like the, the same track that they kept using where it was just like. Ay, 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 ay. I was like, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that shit again, but never again, especially with how many times they fucking use that shit. Like they use that shit so many fucking times. I wouldn't, I would say the music was unremarkable to a degree. I wouldn't say it's bad. I definitely don't, you know, hate the music. There's none of the tracks that got grading on me. Like I, I kind of know which one you're talking about, but I like that one. And I, I really like out of like the, the general OST, uh, the one that plays when um, Alpha or Omega transform the like the guitar riff one. That one's really good. I really like that. I like that they kept using that one. But overall, the soundtrack's mostly just kind of unremarkable to a degree. I I kind of like the idea they had going where they were trying to mix like Showa esque Amazon music, you know, with the trumpets and the bombastic feeling of the Showa era. With a little yeah. bit of, a, like, electronic-ish type stuff. And I kind of like that idea, but it kind of comes off a little schizophrenic, and it just kind of, like, mm, Well, to that no. degree, it matches the aesthetic of the show, but I can kind of yes. understand where it's different where a, a visual design can kind of have that schizophrenic element and still work, but auditorially, it doesn't necessarily transfer very well, mostly because, especially when it's, again, like you're saying, you're using it a lot, it can be kind of grating, and... While I don't necessarily oh, agree that it's grading, it's I can kind of get where you're coming from with it. I, I think it's because, again, I'm 
I'm a music person, so I notice this stuff even though I'm not supposed to. Like, I I know this is supposed to be diegetic. You're not really supposed to notice it, but I do, and I'm sorry. That fucking... I'm just like, God fucking damn it. I hate you so much. I Whoever whoever was the one who said, no, play the song again. But sir, we played it like <laughs> 10 seconds ago. Play it again. Oh, fuck off. Play like, it again. Um, you know Johnny. what? I blame Shirakura. Johnny Guitar. I'm sorry. I had to do it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I I blame Shirakura. You know what? Shirakura is probably that ass who's like, play it again, but this time with a little echo on it, just to piss him off. Sure. Just, you just know what? Really yeah, that's, that sounds like Shirakura, to be entirely honest. <laughs> Put a little echo that on it. Like She's like, play it again. It's like, but but <laughs> sir, they, we we have like, we have it overlapping seven times. Play it again. I said, play it again. Yes, sir, Mr. <laughs> Shirakura, sir. <laughs> Put a little, a little <laughs> reverb on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why did we go? Why did he turn it to like a fucking pervert? We need more. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I don't know. I'm not gonna comment on him. You know what? He oh, seems like tribal sounds. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Who's he? Vince oh, McMahon that now? The pickle. Yeah. <laughs> I could, we need for a pickle. I could totally see him being like Vince McMahon. It's like no. We, we need to put more roids into Omega. I mean, you know what? He he kind of gives me that uh, that feeling that he's like he's like a weird enigma, like Vince McMahon. He's just a somehow. fucking crazy person they accidentally <laughs> hired. I wouldn't say I accidentally. Totally I mean, he's he, they they probably hired him knowing exactly who he was, and he's just he's just a crazy man, and it just keeps working somehow. I mean, you know what? That's <laughs> it's like he was never supposed to be in this position of power, but now that he is, holy shit. <laughs> Um, we made Pandora's <laughs> box and then we opened it. Oh God! Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I think I liked most of the aesthetic. Again, I didn't like the Instagram filter. I think there were some points where it was a little bit overbearing. I feel like some natural colors were would have been okay. It just kind of felt a little bit overbearing. Um, but for the most part, I think it was okay. I think I think most of the, for the most part, this show looked kind of Gucci. It was okay. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Gucci. It's more like Bucci, I guess. <laughs> Poochie, maybe. Getting her a Poochie? Oh, my God. No, Poochie's next season, dude. That's true. Oh, shit, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Poochie's next season. That is true. Poochie's next season. Dude, I can't wait till we get to next season because, like, that that's going to be just... That's going to be full of fucking jokes. It's going to be great. Dude, um, I can't... I, honestly, like, I was... I didn't even realize that Phil hadn't seen Amazons at all, so, like... It was kind of interesting hearing Phil say, I mean, basically what we've all been saying since 2016. And God, I can't wait till he sees season two because good oh, fucking Oh, dude, Lord. Phil might actually have a heart attack. Oh, season two is going to be oh, interesting. Oh, it's going to be fun. No, I can't wait for you guys to see the uh, movie. Oh, dude, that's so I, I thing. I've never seen, seen it. I've never seen it. None of you guys have seen, none of you guys have only, seen the movie. I, I think the I'm the only, only one that's yes, seen I know it. about the movie is that Kabuto Riger is the movie villain. And I don't know what the fuck they, I don't know what the fuck he was doing that he needed money that badly to be in Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually really, I'm actually really excited to see the movie because I've never seen it. I've heard it's fucking bollocks though. Like it's some fucking it is, shit. It is depressing. Oh, I. <laughs> it is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard it's... Like, I, I can't even kid about that. It was just kind of depressing. I've heard many things about it, none of which I believe. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing... <laughs> That's already a good sign. Not even just, like, in, like, stuff that happens in the movie, just, like, overall opinions of the movie, and none of which I, like, I trust in any way. So I'm interested to see what the movie is like. Uh, but I'm more interested to see... Uh, just, just how much I've repressed season two, to be entirely honest. Oh, true. Trust me, I remember a lot of season two. Because season and not for one, for good reasons. I remembered a lot of season one going into like a lot of like the the episode of the week stuff, like the the stuff about the like Bondo in the junkyard. I kind of forgot about that, and a lot of like the more gen, you know, like just kind of average stuff, like the the apartment complex full of Amazons. You know, I I liked that idea too. That was a fun episode, but that was you know, a lot of like the the episodic it stuff. Was. I forgot, but the overall kind of plot and the major beats, I remembered and. <laughs> For the most part, I remembered enjoying it, and I hate to say well, it, Jay, but this kind of feels like Toei trying to make Garo. Ah, uh, I wouldn't go I, that. You far. have to squint. You have to squint, but you know what I mean. I mean, in the sense that they're trying to do um, a more mature, serialized story, but there's very little that connects it to Garo here. No, no. Well, I I was seeing it more in the sense that. They tried to have a, a lot of like really fun set pieces, different different things that they never could really do in Rider and stuff like that. And, and a lot of it felt very, Amma Mia got away with it, let's see if we can too. I'm not saying that's one-to-one, that's why I said you gotta squint to see it. 
but it, it feels like they wanted to try something like that where it's like let's just kind of go crazy with it I get what you're saying from that aspect but I wouldn't necessarily agree with the Garo comparison I think that's going a little too far there well, see, I think I think I'm only using Garo because that's the closest thing I remember. It's fair enough. I mean, that's that's fair enough. I mean, I'm not going to use Evolver. No. Well, why would you? I mean, I mean, <laughs> we use that for season two, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, shit. The crow chick r- reminds me of the village chick. So a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> They're both dead inside. So, um, so what? What I, else is there? There. I feels like there was something I wanted to say about it, but I, I the final must have just forgotten about it. Oh yeah, uh, fuck this ending so hard. I yeah. what the fuck were they thinking? Yeah, they they left it. Yeah, they just wanted to like make leave it open for season two. I frankly. think honestly, I think that's the biggest problem is that like <sighs> I remember even back then people hated the ending, and back when I wa- first watched it, it definitely like it reeked of we weren't expecting another sick another season syndrome. Even though the episode naming was like set up to have a second season, and they, I'm pretty sure they announced they didn't announce it before the show started, but they announced it relatively early on. So I don't know if uh, they, they changed the ending at all last second or anything like that. I'm not, I'm going to assume not because that doesn't really make I any sense with the filming they, schedule. Ch- I think they announced the second season. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. This is this is again. This is going back about six, seven, year, about six years now. It was around like episode I, two or three. I remember it was ver- no, very early I think it was on in the, the middle. Series. I think it was yeah. in the middle. No, like I believe they announced season two. It was after like season one. After they figured, it's like oh, people actually like this. I, I just I just but remember like, them announcing it before it time. ended. That's where I remember. Like, I de- I definitely remember they announced it before season one ended, which made sense because the early reception was really good so it made sense that it would have gotten a second season and then we then we got to the final episode and oh god that was a fucking monkey's paw (laughs) the the show the show pretty much falls apart during the final arc overall with like sigma and mamaru turning and then then we got the tralock yeah we got tralock which is like okay no no see i i hated this okay i know occ did this translation and i hated this translation because I swear. Well, technically, I don't it's think just it's overtime. supposed. It's no, just I was gonna overtime say, I, subs. Oh, what's up? It's overtime subs. This is overtime. Well, uh, well, I was gonna say I don't think it's supposed to be with two L's. It is because they kept saying no. no because they kept it, no, 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 no. Hold AJ, on. It is. Because they hold on, Phil. Because they kept pronouncing it Trollock. Trollock. If it was supposed to be with two L's, you'd think they would have at least attempt it to be with the say both of them. AJ, I mean, it's AJ, named after an Japanese Aztec god of the rain and the th- and the god who represented the third son of the third world. Then why did they keep pronouncing an R? Well, I mean, I was just going to go off the Amazon Prime official subs. Yeah, they, it, it goes Are right you out. serious? Why do they keep pronouncing the R so prevalently? AJ, it doesn't even sound that's like... Just, that's it's just, just Japanese well, language weirdness. No, no, no. I, they, this sounded like way beyond just regular, they can't pronounce L's and R's. This sounded like they were... Legitimately <laughs> pronouncing the R, All like right. hardly. Well, like, yeah, it, the, of it, course they like, were pronouncing the R because they don't fucking have an L in their language, jackass. They said lock. We don't. They said lock. God damn it! Rock. All right, I will die on this hill. Rock. Whatever you say, bro. <laughs> no, I will die on this hill. I will fucking die. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna bring ah! back as a sigma. Ah! And like I'll, a be- I'll become bubble. weird. I'll become weird dollar store black putty. <laughs> <laughs> was was like okay. So they introduced that early on. They have a special gas that that kills the Amazon <laughs> cells, and also yeah. occasionally humans. We don't. I don't know. We we just rolled this off the uh, the factory line. Don't worry about it. So I guess just in the background they were working on it, and now it's perfect, and now it kills Amazons and not humans at all. So so Haruka's mom, and her absolute fucking gigabrain idea is we're gonna wait for it to rain so immediately you're playing a shit because you're you're waiting for an unpredictable event to occur i mean granted this is japan and you know they get rain and hurricanes and thunderstorms constantly but still you were waiting for what is essentially an an active chance to occur and then your plan is to get a bunch of drones and blanket the city in the chemical and just hope it kills all the Amazons. Yes. And even even then they realize, like, okay, well, it's not going to kill them all. 
because that's impossible. That's like, okay, they insist that it's going to kill all the Amazons until the final episode when they're suddenly like, okay, no, never mind. Having it kill all the Amazons, which is, is because impossible. Papa Zonazaki said so, which I'm going to assume I don't again. I don't know if this was like they rewrote the last episode before filming, but when they got announced a second season or not, I have a feeling that. They planned for it to just, again, kill basically all of the Amazons, except for, like, Haruka and his weird little buddies. I don't know. I can't comment on that, because it feels like they were setting up where, like, oh, it is just going to kill all the Amazons. Yeah, it felt like that. Except, no, now it isn't. Now there's just some Amazons left. But, like, first and foremost, this is a horribly impractical plan. Second of all... You have absolutely no chance that at the scale you're doing this at, it's going to work. Third of all, your plan is to... Again, I, they establish why it needs water. That makes sense because it mixes the chemical and it makes the gas. But couldn't you just, like... Couldn't you just pump it from, like, I don't know, fill a fucking bunch of super soakers with it and just, like, have the Amazon... Like, why can't you just give it to the ham- like the exterminators and just have oh, them run around we, in we, needs we to kill to Amazons? A, we have to have a rain of not how you know it's, it's raining. Like, it's symbolic. I mean, I get it. Like, like where the fuck, the where the fuck they get all the... Dro- why were the drones so big, first and foremost? They were, like, the size of fucking cars. <laughs> it's just to make sure you know that they're drones. I don't care what Techno <laughs> said. They don't fucking make drones that big. They don't... Those don't fly... Those... Those propellers are not strong enough to make something that size fly. We, we have to make sure you know that they're drones, so we have to make them huge. Okay, Lucas. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <and> get out. <laughs> look, dude, I don't know. They're, I was looking at them, too, and I thought it was just like a camera trick that they made them look bigger. But no, they're just that no, they're, fucking they're huge. They're fucking gigantic. Like, what the fuck? Like, like, and no, they don't make drones that big. I've worked with the drones. They don't. Like, maybe even in the military, they'll have, like, giant fuck-off drones, but usually you don't need those because what you want a drone to be is discreet. Exactly. That defeats the purpose of having a drone if it's the size of a car. <laughs> you might you might as well just have a bunch of fucking helicopters. But but the second thing is that, that again, like, why do you need to wait for, like, first of all, if it's going to rain... It's going to rain. It's not going to just necessarily rain in your city. Like, okay, for all we know, all the Amazons are just in the one city. Whatever city we're in, we don't know. They never say. So Amazon city. Yeah, sure. It's uh, Nozama city. You, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Shut <You> ever the fuck up. It's Yggdrasil city, you know. <laughs> no, it's it's called the Armor Zone. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. So for all the we Armor know. The Armor Zone prefecture. <laughs> Uh, you know, Choose they were just kind of so. hoping that all of the Amazons are stuck within this city and they didn't spread out to, you know, there's no Amazons living in like fucking Osaka or Sapporo or anything like that. You know, where they hey, can't dude, some, get Maybe to. they just went on vacation. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's no chance that there's any Amazons that somehow left the country. You know, nobody got smuggled out of the country. There's no Amazons living in fucking Singapore or anything like that. You know, let's <laughs> just assume. There's just an Amazon in New York somewhere. Exactly. Let's just, there's just, just one assume in America, one LA. for a chance that. All 4,000 Amazons are living in the exact same city. First and foremost, you're never going to have, like, it, it's just horribly ridiculous and impractical, this entire plan. And it kind of just, like, it goes beyond, like, it's goofy. And it doesn't make any sense, really, at all, if you think about it. No, it doesn't. Well, again, it, it, it's because you're betting your entire extermination plan on random weather and whether or not there's a random chance that randomly all of your Amazons are still in the city, mm. out in the open, and not inside, where they're in a well-ventilated area. Mm-hmm. I mean, exactly. For all we know, them just, you know, obviously they're not going to know about the gas ahead of time. For all we know, if they're just, like, hanging out in a basement all day, that gas isn't going to go down to them. There's, like, some Amazon otaku. He's just, like, <laughs> he's in the basement. He's not going to fucking touch exactly, it. Exactly, right? You know? Like, Still. like, like when, no, no matter how you look at it, the plan is just silly. And I think, and I think it wasn't even a rewrite for the ending sake because of the second season. I think it's just because they realized, yeah, saying it would kill all of them is just a little too fucking convenient. Because <laughs> no matter how you look at it, it's like, would it really kill them all though? Like, unless the unless the gas just just in like infumes everything around it. I mean, I doubt it's going to kill all of them. I mean, second of all, like. Their whole plan was to keep the Amazons from going public, so why the fuck would you use, like, a super gas across the entire city that's just going to start having people randomly melt? Like, I mean, that's just asking for a masquerade violation, guys. 
That's just asking for everybody to come barreling down your door with torches and pitchforks, asking why the hell you release these deadly monsters into our city. You know, or alternatively, why the hell did you melt random ass citizens? Exactly. Like for all for all the the average citizens going to know is that there's just these drones driving around that are melting my friends. Like, (laughs) I don't know what's going on. (laughs) (laughs) Like, that's the thing. Like, the moment you think about it, it's just like. This is stupid. Again, they, dude. Nozama is just the Umbrella Corporation. They're they're <laughs> killing bioweapons with more bioweapons. It's it's just a conga line of bioweapons, guys. It's genius. It's <laughs> Exactly like for all we know, they're just gonna their their final solution is just to nuke the city. I mean, you know what? Hey, again, it worked for Umbrella, but it doesn't mean that they have to do it every time. Still See, the, the, the the thing I would have said and this is this is before we we realize that this all this bullshit. Why not just say that Nozama City was built to keep in the Amazons? You could have said sure, that. Sure, it would have been impractical. It would have been stupid. But it would have been better. It would be. It would be better than to, than to just say this is just a random ass city with a bunch of Amazons in it. There's there's something keeping the Amazons from leaving the city. Sure, fine. Yeah, there you go. Like say like oh, there's a mm-hmm. anti. <laughs> Zamunch, z- 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 there's there's some kind of signal. Or just, I don't know. That... Just say that there, there's a bomb in their freaking uh, armband. Yeah, there's that too. Right? Mm. You could have said that, dude. Go fucking. I mean, but then having having bombs in their armband raises the question of if they can trigger the bomb. Like, if the bomb triggers ah. remotely, isn't there a way to just like auto trigger it? Like, you you think you know you you think in your your secret built-in explosive device you would include a way to manually trigger it but that you know that that that's that's starting to get into voodoo shark territory there guys so <laughs> any, still look no matter how you look at it this is stupid it's stupid <laughs> it's dumb but to this get more onto, dumb. to get more onto the point of what i was doing is like that start like that's also where haruka's whole like motive starts to fall apart because because Mamoru's, like, there crying. He's like, I'm a horrible monster because I tried to eat my friend. And then Haruka, 400-digit IQ, is like, there's nothing inherently evil about wanting to eat people, Mamoru. It's fine. Like, are, what the fuck I are you I unironically wanted to, like, reach into the screen and slap this kid up the head. Like, what the fuck did you just say? Like, I... For for a second, like you can tell, he like he hesitates to say it. He's like, I know I'm about to say the dumbest goddamn thing on the planet. No, no, dude, that wasn't that wasn't the character. That was the actor. That was a shoot. I, you know what? It might have been. He was just like, he was man, just like, did they oh even read God, this my script? career's dead. Like, oh. it, it's like it's like in uh, Freddy got fingered. Where they have, I think it was like the it was like his girlfriend. He's like, I just want to suck your <laughs> cock. Like she hesitates for a second there. Like it's it's got to be the same thing. Uh, maybe for all we know, <laughs> it was it was a shoot. It's just like we don't have any more film. Just t- just use that take. Fuck just it. Just go. Just go with it. Just but go. Like... Just go. <laughs> We're gonna hibiki this last episode. Just fuck it. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what happens. Is that it's a completely <laughs> incomprehensible final episode. Oh, I can't wait till we do hibiki. <laughs> uh, it's the entire like the the last episode is just it's so fucking bad it kind of just ruins the entire season you get, oh, yeah. again you get haruka being like actually never mind cannibalism is cool you know and then he's just like cannibalism's rad and then he's trying to protect the amazons it's like yes even if they're tearing bad i'm just gonna you know even though half of his amazon buddies that show up on the beach try to fucking murder the exterminators and then he has to like fucking multi-kill them he's like oh it's fine guys you know we, we we're living peacefully and fine it's fine i'm, I'm taking care of it you know I know they. I know, like half of these guys just tried to murder you, and the other half are still trying to murder you. But it's, it's fine, guys. Just you know, leave me alone. And then Jin, look, this guy gets to know him. And then Jin comes in <laughs> and, with a big, huge pile of, uh, I want to say Amazon hearts, and he just starts eating them. And it's like, why would he's, he's never like, done that in the past? Why would he do that now? And then he starts saying, "I'm gonna hunt and kill every." We know that, but now it's like he's doing it for fun. That's not for he, fun. Like Jin goes off. I don't want to say he goes off the deep end because he was already off the deep end. Deep end of the he, beginning. He lost. He, he lost his motive because he basically went from "I'm doing this to clean up my mess" to "I'm doing this because I am now sadistic and psychotic and." Rah! Yeah, and and then you have the exterminator, so Moby the exterminators, and. Even though don't ever say that again, Chad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he Moby dicked him. Oh my god! Oh, 
Well, I mean, they did it to his character. You could say, I don't know, it has multiple meanings. At least a lot more meanings on this show. I mean, to be fair, we're going to get to the Moby Dicking in season two, but... (laughs) (laughs) Let's get our Crunky on. Very literally. Uh, (laughs) Nope, this is Crunky. I wouldn't want to get on in this case. (laughs) Amazon Crunky? Ew. No. That would taste Mm, awful. Tastes like... I will say... Tastes like feet. (laughs) It start. It starts. Say, it starts tasting really good, but then it tastes like like feet. Yeah, I will say though, th- th- I I only mentioned this because I noticed it when I was watching it because because this was the first time I got to watch it on my phone. I was actually watching it on my phone. Uh, when Jin was eating that heart, it was full of just like uh, food colored ramen noodles, and it looked so fucking nasty. Uh, it it definitely it did look really nasty, and I on one hand. It's a really good effect because it does genuinely look gross. On the other hand, it does genuinely look gross. Oh, Jay, don't worry. Again, I hate to say it. I hate to say this again, but never forget season two with that fucking mucus man. That was. Oh, uh, oh no. Uh, we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, so like Phil said, the, the, the ending, it doesn't just fuck with Haruka. It fucks with Jin because Jin just becomes. He becomes the guy you didn't want him to be. He becomes the now. He now becomes the super wacky masochist psycho. And it's like I don't think he, it's necessarily he becomes wacky. Falcion before he was Falcion. Yeah. Basically, he be, he just becomes an, a villain now. And it's like, but that wasn't what he was. Why change him? There's no point to change him. Even mm. if for like a cliffhanger, there really wasn't a point to change him because he just leaves anyways. Exactly. Like, He's just like, like I'm gonna it, get you. Not now, but later. Him and Haruka so, yeah. have the climactic final battle that isn't resolved because nobody wins, and they just they just run off. Hey, you want to <laughs> do this some other time? Yeah. All right, see you, mate. Oh, and wh- what the fuck was up with that gold bracelet? Why did that have absolutely nothing to do with anything? What the fuck was that supposed to do? Uh, Because of lol. <sighs> Apparently, that was supposed to, like, suppress or, like, give more meds or, like, a stronger dose of the meds. I guess, I guess it was, like, a but... more permanent solution. I guess, but then, but then, why don't you yeah. just make more of those? Why Shut didn't up. you? St- uh, <laughs> That's uh, why. Shut up, Jay. Don't, don't question it. Also, like, also, you, like, you need to have. You need to pull all the references from like the original Amazon. Oh yeah, that's right. Which, there was which the, is really funny. The second because armlet, that yeah. I think that gold bracelet actually comes into play next season. I don't remember. No, I. No, no it, doesn't? it doesn't. It's never showed again. So then it was just it was just for shits and giggles. For all, for all we fucking giggles. know, it's yep. still on the beach there. They might have just actually left the prop there for all we. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. Like they they like they That's super glue like, it to t- cement and dig it into the beach. All right, try and grab it. <laughs> or no no no, it's like basically um, it's like the like you y'all remember like the O's Taja Dora. Oh yeah. <laughs> like that. Like that basically the, the behind the scenes with that like with its first yeah. debut. Yeah. So basically, like, they could have just been like, oh, yeah, we only had one prop of this, and now it's kind of stuck under the ocean. Oops. Eh, I'm pretty sure they won't remember it. No big. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And then Whatever. some asshole goes to go get it. <laughs> mm. But, yeah, like, the en- the entire ending of the show is just, or this season is just really crap. And... It, ruins, it ruins Haruka. It ruins oh, Jin. Yeah. It ruins the exterminators because they it has them siding with Haruka despite the they fact that they basically pussy out. Yeah, they 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 pussy out and side with Haruka. Like and I I get it like the matter like okay, they're siding with Haruka because they're friends with him and I get it but but it also requires them to completely abandon their entire mold, mo- morals and motive and you know, completely ignore every single thing they told Haruka up to that point. <laughs> so it it wastes time with a bunch of unnecessary plot lines and elements. There's shit that just is left completely unresolved that I know they never bothered to resolve in season two. We have absolutely no fucking idea, even by the end of the season, why the fuck the Amazons exist, what the end goal of Nozama and the president was, what anybody's motivation here was. It is just, it's a fucking, it's a mess. It is a mess of an ending. You know what? I blame that a hundred percent. I bl- and I and I, I I said it. I was gonna say it earlier, bro. I blame it a hundred percent on the pacing of the show. Mm. You had almost thirty to forty minutes every single episode, and every single ep- and almost every single episode felt like almost nothing was being done. Mm. It just kind of felt like it was happening. 
Like, nothing was being explained. Like, honestly, you could have probably explained what Haruka's mom wanted or what Dr. Maki wanted or what the fucking president wanted. You have 40 fucking minutes, dude. Use them. I mean, we kind of know what what Haruka's mom wanted was just to kill all the Amazons because because it affected the company. And they like, we don't know why they created the Amazons. We don't know what the goal was. Like... But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have 40 fucking minutes, like 30 to 40 fucking minutes every single episode. Use them. Mm. We're, we're, you, you have the time. You don't need to pad it out. So what the fuck? Oh, and see, that's the thing. Like, they usually they don't even pad it out with, like, fight scenes. It's just nothing. Mm. It's just mm. scenes with them just staring into the fucking ether. And that's about it. That's fucking it. It's done. It's good. It's, it's gross. Uh... You know what? I guess with that, I guess we just jump into our final thoughts. I'll give it to Chad first. Uh-huh. Go on, Chad. We're going to the armors. Oh, I can't even say it right. That's stupid. No. Well, first off, Amazon is a great place to get some pretty good deals, especially if you have Prime shipping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's also where I had to watch a show. So, I mean, if you really want to watch a show, I mean, it's an option. Um, overall, season one, I thought it just generally wasn't bad. Like, there are a lot of gaping plot holes, just comparatively to everything that was airing that year, aka Ghosts. Then again, we've already beaten that horse till it's dead. Mm. Literally. But, um, like, overall, just giving, I guess, giving the show a bit of, I guess, time and perspective. Yeah, no, the show is just edgy. It is edgy because Shirokura wanted to put a Netflix as Common Rider series out on Amazon Prime because hey, we have a name gimmick and it's the forty fifth anniversary. But uh, frankly, I don't generally have any problems with it. It's it's not it's not extremely horrible. It is Saber by no means. It is not Ghost by any means. It is not Geo by any means. But it's there are problems, mm. but if you watch it, you just you have to be pretty edgy, I think. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, you know what? I know it was popular around that time, but I forgot where I was going with that. Well, that well then, Jay. I guess since you forgot, you might as well I keep going because it's your turn. All right. Well, going into this, uh, <sighs> it was a similar experience when when we were doing redoing X Aid, where oh no. It came out around the same time. It came out during the era of Ghost. And I wanted to go into it with as fresh a mind as I can because I wanted to know how much of my initial enjoyment of it was because it's a, a genuinely good series and how much of it was because at least it's not Ghost. <laughs> and up until the last few episodes... It was, again, like X8, it is still genuinely good. It's It's got more problems than I'm noticing now than I did back then, but it's still a good show. It still has a lot of elements that I really like. I really, you know, the action's really good. The fights are good. The The choreography is good. I like the cast. I like the character, you know, the, the characters are good for the most part. You know, the plot's kind of whack, but, I mean, it's, you know, it's whatever, but... But then, like, the last few episodes are just just so nonsense. The show just kind of loses all footing, and it kind of ruins it. And even back then, people people knew that the ending was not good. People did not like the ending back then. And I think, for the most part, my opinion on the show, it softened a little bit. But I think it's still mostly the same as when it was when I first watched Amazons. It is a good show up until the ending. It's a great watch up until the last few episodes, which are just so genuinely bad that it kind of just ruins the entire experience. Uh, I'll go next. Um, I'm kind of on the same level as Jay, where for the most part, it was kind of enjoyable. It was fun. It was fine. It. I'm not going to say it was great. I'm not going to say it was fantastic because it's by no means fantastic. But unfortunately, and I hate to say it because I know we beat this fucking... I know we're basically literally beating the ghost horse of ghost. <laughs> but 
I think I liked it so much back in the day because it wasn't Ghost. I'm not going to say that now it's like, oh, this is some terrible shit. It's awful. It's so edgy and garbage. No, not at all. I still enjoyed it a lot. It's just, again, like Jay said, towards the end, it was crap. And I hated that fucking ending. Like, those last two episodes, they they very much can, if you're a type of watcher like me, they very much can just ruin an entire season. They're real right there. But I think overall it's all right. It's a fun time. Like, if you want something different, like, if you're used to watching, like, like just, like, second phase Heisei, yeah, go watch this. It's a fun time. You can have some fun with it. Just be weary of that ending, because that ending is going to fuck with you. It's... Ugh. But again, I, 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 I think overall I am more positive than I was expecting I, I'd give the show, you know, I'd give the show like a B, B minus. It's around there. That's a fair grade, I think, to to give it. Uh, I guess your last, Phil. Honestly, this is coming from somebody who watched the first episode uh, when it was airing and then just never caught back up with it. The I'll say that, and watching it finally years later, I'll say this, the, the first, like... The first six episodes are actually really good, but then after that, it's kind of a slog, in my opinion, and it messes itself up royally, because it it, it has something good going, and then they're just trying to say, oh, no, 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 we're going to change this up. It's like, no, don't, don't change it, and then that ending, oh, good God, that ending was, was terrible. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible ending. It messes up everything, and you guys basically said it best. I will say this: at some points, I was saying this is what I wish Ryder would do, but as it went on, I'm realizing it's not. No, no, just, <laughs> just no. Just give me something, you know. Give me something with, with I, I don't know, get, with the stuff that works with Amazon. Give me that in a show, and I will uh, and I will watch it. So, Pretty much, Kuga. yeah. I'll watch Kuga. Yeah, right, uh, yeah, I'll watch anything that isn't Amazon's. Uh, well, watch anything that isn't Amazon's season two. I would say watch season one at the very least. Yeah, season one's fine. Like I said, I, I, it's, a, it's a solid no, B. Season one's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's a solid fine. B, B minus. It's fine. Yeah. I, 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 again... Once we get to, it's going to be weird because next week we have, well, not next week, uh, next episode, because it's every two weeks now. Mm. Next episode, it's going to be season two, which is going to be interesting. Oh, Very yeah. Very interesting. Uh, mm. uh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't oh, boy, wait oh, to die, set down myself. I what? can't wait to set down and die. I can't wait to down some, some drugs and set a... <laughs> gun to my head and die. I don't know. Fuck it. Sit, I, I can't wait to get some <laughs> Percocets. Sit down and die. That perk 32? Alright. I hit, I took a perk I took a I perk 30 and shit. I'm, I'm gonna get the propofol <laughs> and take a nap. Yeah, so... I'm... I'm uh, I can't wait to see Phil's reaction to season two. Oh, oh god, Phil's gonna oh, die. Oh, oh, that's Phil, gonna Phil may actually, great. like, his head may actually mm. explode. Oh goody, goody! My head's gonna explode. That's just fan. And it's it's you know it's, it's no 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 no. Season two is mind blowing. That's what we mean. <laughs> yes, right, yes, it is. It's it's, it's borderline experimental. Oh, uh, you guys it are is very experimental at you, points. You I'll guys like are that. lucky that I'm uh, that I'm uh, half I am half awake right now. I I will say it is it is pretty. I am well, just trying to not give you any bias. Forget about it, but I will say it's pretty convenient because um. I accidentally didn't when it, before we before we watched Amazon season one. I didn't download season one. I downloaded season two by accident, Oops. and I played the first episode. And I was just like, "Wait a minute, uh, this wait is a second! You're not supposed to be here yet." Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. Season two, next episode. So as always, that's Chad. All right, guys, thanks so much, and uh, yeah, uh, eat your hamburgers, I guess. That's Phil. Uh, yeah, don't try to make a an army of undead bug monster things. Don't ever do it. It never works. 
That's Jay. Fa- do not do not treat Jin as a role model. Do not eat raw eggs. It is not healthy for you. you it is you will you will shit uncontrollably for at least a day. <laughs> Trust me. You know, I'm pretty sure he just took a page out of Rocky's uh cookbook. I mean, but I mean apparently the thing that actually doesn't do anything for you. No, it doesn't. Cooked. It is it's complete it is in fact worse for you to eat raw eggs. It is yeah. it is extremely bad for you. Yeah. For multiple you, you, you actually in, in fact you can actually lose a lot of proteins from not cooking it. There is there is a reason why they tell you not to do it, and because there are there are literally at least a dozen reasons why eating bacteria, uh, uh, other things, not being cooked <laughs> but, right. But, but, Honestly, just boys, bad. Uh, but boys hit the age of twenty and choose one of these as a role model. It's just Jin, Haruka, Mamoru, and fucking Thank Shindo. You. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I guess we know who Phil chose. Uh, anyway, so what? Who, what? What? We will see you guys. For pedophilic necrophilia sentai Amazon Ranger next week. <laughs> bye bye. Man, you really said that fast. See that was you. good. <laughs>